The Serebanese or Serebanese people are an Austronesian ethnic group native on the city of Serban and its immediate surrounding area, located in the northern part of the island of Java in Indonesia. Numbering approximately 1.9 million, the Serebanese are mostly Muslim. Their language, Serebanese, is a mixture of Javanese and Sundanese language, with a heavier influence from Javanese, and as such is variably classified as either a dialect of both of those languages or as an independent language. A recognized ethnic group At first, the existence of the Serebanese ethnic group of people have always been associated with the presence of Sundanese and Javanese people. However, its presence later led to the formation of its own culture, ranging from a variety of coastal batik that does not really follow the standards of the Javanese palace style or commonly known as interior batik, until the emergence of traditional Islamic patterns that came about in accordance with the construction of the Serban Palace in the 15th century, which was fully based on Islam. The existence of the Serebanese ethnic group that does not consider themselves as Sundanese or Javanese people was finally answered in the 2010 population census whereby a column that specifically mentioned Serebanese was made available. This meant that the existence of Serebanese ethnic group has been recognized nationally as a separate tribe, according to Erna Tresna Prihatan. Language <laughs> <laughs> In the past, Serebanese language was used in coastal trade in West Java from Serban which was one of the major ports, particularly in the 15th century until the 17th century. Serebanese language is influenced by Sundanese culture since the Serebanese are located adjacent to the Sundanese cultural region, especially Cunningham and Majalenka, and also influenced by Chinese, Arab and European culture. This is evident in words such as Teokang. Pigtail, which is a loanword from Chinese language, Hokkien language, the word Bagda, after which is from Arabic language, and then the word Sonder, without which is the absorption of European languages, Dutch language. The Serebanese language also maintains ancient forms of the Javanese language, such as phrases and pronunciation. For example, Ingsun, I, and Sira, U, are words that are no longer used by the Baku Javanese language. Debate The question about Serebanese language as an independent language from the Sundanese and Javanese language has been a fairly long debate, and has involved political government, cultural and linguistic factors. As a Javanese dialect Studies made by using questionnaires as a benchmark to indicate vocabulary and basic culture eating, drinking, and so on based on Guider's method showed differences in Serebanese vocabulary with Javanese language in Central Java and Yogyakarta was up to 75%, while differences with the Javanese language dialect in East Java was up to 76%, although linguistic research to date suggests that Serebanese language is only a dialect for according to Guider's observation, it is said that to be a separate language it must have as much as 80% differences from its closest language, but to date the fifth regional regulation of West Java Provincial, 2003 still recognizes Serebanese as a language of its own and not a dialect. According to the head of language Bandung, M.U.H. Abdul Kak, it is legitimate because the regulation is based on political assessment. In the world of language according to him, a language can be recognized on the basis of three things. First, on the basis of the recognition by its speakers, second on the basis of the political, and the third on the basis of linguistics. Language on the basis of political, other examples can be seen from the history of Indonesian language. Indonesian language which stems out from the Malay language, should be named Indonesian dialect of the Malay language. However, on the basis of political interests, eventually development of the Malay language in the country of Indonesia by the Indonesian government that it was claimed and named as Indonesian language. In addition to political reasons, the recognition of Serebanese as a language can also be viewed from within its geographical borders. Abdul Kak mentioned that Serebanese is regarded as a dialect if viewed nationally with the involvement of Javanese language. Which means, when regulations was first made only within the area of West Java, Serebanese language was not regarded as significant in comparison to the Javanese language. 
What more if compared with Batawi Malay and Sundanese language, Serebanese is indeed different. As an independent language With the revised legislation it has actually allowed various linguistic arguments. However, a greater interest of which is considered from the political standpoint are the Serebanese speakers, who do not want to be regarded as Javanese or Sundanese people. Chairman of the Institute of Serebanese Language and Literature, Nurdin M. Noer said, Serebanese language is a mixture of Javanese and Sundanese language. Although in conversations, Serebanese people can still understand some of the Javanese language, he said Serebanese vocabulary continues to develop and does not only depend on the vocabulary of the Javanese nor the Sundanese language. He mentioned, If revision were to be made on the regulations mentioned, there will most likely be a protest from the speakers of the Serebanese community. Linguistic expert, Kedar al Wasilla assessed that with the native speakers being more vocal, changes to the recognition should not be done. Therefore, what is needed is to protect the Serebanese language from extinction. Vocabulary <inaudible> 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 Most of the original vocabularies of this language have nothing in common with the standard Javanese language Surakarta Yogyakarta region, neither morphology nor phonetics. Indeed, the Serebanese language used in Serban and with those in Indramayu, although are part of the Javanese language, have huge differences with the standard Javanese language, which is the language taught in schools that held to the solo Javanese language. Thus, before the 1970s, textbooks from Solo can no longer be used because it was too difficult for students and perhaps also, the teacher. Therefore, in the 1970s, textbooks were replaced with Sundanese textbooks which are considered to be easier to understand because speakers of Sundanese language are closer. However, it turns out that the idea was a misconception of the Serebanese language until movement was emerged to replace the textbook in the language used in the region, namely Serebanese dialect of the Javanese language. Nevertheless, publishers that supported of regional language to be taught in schools did not include the word Javanese language of the Serebanese dialect again in the following year, but instead used the word Serebanese language. It has also been done on published books by supporters of Serebanese language as a teaching subject in 2001 and 2002. Serebanese Language Dictionary, written by Sudhyana had not put words, Javanese language of Serebanese dialect, but only, Serebanese Language Dictionary. So it was with the publishing of, Wyakarana, Serebanese Grammar. In 2002 which no longer shows the existence of Serebanese language as part of the Javanese language, but instead as an independent language itself. <laughs> Vernacular Serebanese language Following is a comparison between Serebanese language with other languages that are considered cognate, such as Serang Javanese language Bantanese, Tegel and Pemalangan dialect of the Javanese language, as well as Baku Javanese language Surakarta Yogyakarta dialect of the Bagongan vernacular style. Serebanese dialects According to Mr. Nurdin M. Noer, chairman of the Institute of Serebanese Language and Literature there are at least a few Serebanese dialects, some which are Serebanese Dermayan dialect or also known as Indramayuan dialect, Serebanese Jawara dialect or Javanese Sapara dialect, Serebanese Plurd dialect and Gajisic dialect northern region of West Serban. .Today it is divided into Ketawang and Tengatani districts. Jawara dialect The Jawara dialect are also referred to as Sawara meaning partial or literally half. Javanese is a dialect of the Serebanese language that is used around the borders of Serban Regency and Brebes Regency, or around the borders of Majalenka Regency and Cunningham Regency. The Jawara dialect is a combination of part Javanese language and part Sundanese language. Dermayan dialect 
The Serebanese Dermayan dialect is widely used in the area of Indramayu Regency. According to the Guiders method, the Dermayan dialect have about 30% differences with the Serebanese language itself. The main characteristic of Dermayan dialect speakers is to use the word riang as a term for the word I instead of using the word I son as those used by Serebanese language speakers. Topic. Plurd dialect The Serebanese plurd dialect that is used in the west side of Serban Regency, is known its strong use of O characteristic. For example, in standard Serebanese language the word Sira in western Serban Regency dialect is translated as Siro, which means you. The word Apa in Serebanese language becomes Apo means what? In Western Serebanese dialect, likewise the word jindela becomes jendelo, means window. For instance, anak saya masak tika will be translated as anak kita manjing ning tiko. Besides that Serebanese plurd dialect has its own unique accent such as the usage of additional words like j or ta in any conversation. Dialect speakers who occupies the western region of Serban Regency tend to express themselves with the title Wang Serban, which is very much different from the standard Serebanese language Sira used by the residents of Serban City to refer to themselves as Tiang Graj, although both Wang Serban and Tiang Graj have the same meaning that is Serebanese. Topic. Gajisic dialect Gajisic dialect is a dialect that is spoken in the northern region of West Serban and around Gajisic district. The Serebanese Gajisic dialect is often used as the intermediary language in Puyangan from Serban by the Delong puppet master himself, and there is a possibility that this is a finer dialect compared to the dialect of the Wang Serban itself. Topic. Comparison of dialects Topic. Family system Below are the terms used by Serebanese people to address members of the family. Topic. Customs Topic. Royal wedding The royal wedding custom of the Serebanese community is called Pelakrama Aging in Serebanese language. The customs of marriage attempts to elevate local traditions with the emphasis on Islam as the center of the ceremony. The customs of Serebanese wedding has its own local moral values in the context of the simplicity in the Serebanese community way of carrying out large celebrations. Such example is in the Serebanese dowry customs which only requires tubers, vegetables and valuables as in the form of jewelry or cash according to the groom's means, wherein carrying out those requirements Serebanese community will prioritize Islamic elements more than others, and among them is to avoid riya the attitude of wanting to be praised. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage proposal A marriage proposal or in Serebanese language Tatali or Nyagog is the early stage of the Serebanese royal wedding procession whereby the messenger of the man visits the parents of the woman's house and expressed his intention to marry their daughter. Then the woman's mother would ask her for her approval. The woman will then give her answer in the presence of the messenger as a witness. After receiving the answer, the messenger and the woman's parents will have a discussion to determine the wedding date. Once there is agreement, the messenger excuse himself to convey the message to the man's parents. Topic. Dowry On the day of delivering the dowries, the woman's parents accompanied her immediate family members will receive the man's messenger as he arrives together with his envoy accompanied a group men carrying the dowry, among them are Fruit bearers Tubers bearers Vegetables bearers, moss pisces bearers, which are dowries in a form of jewelries and cash that are to be handed over to the woman's parents. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Washing. According to Sultan Sepa the 14th Panjaran Raja Adipati Arif Nadadinangrat, Saraman meaning splashing of water or washing and sometimes also referred to as Saram Tawandari symbolizes purity. The Saraman procession is a tradition of bathing the bride with a certain traditional procedure takes place before proceeding with the solemnization ceremony. It aims to cleanse the body and soul of the bride before conducting the ceremony, which is the door to starting a new life with her partner. Both the bride and groom will be brought to the place for Saraman, called Kunkup by the makeup person, accompanied by their parents and elders. As they walk towards the place for Saraman accompanied with traditional musical instruments, the nablong, the bride will wear a batik sarong of Sarebanese style, namely the wadasan cloth. Usually the color of the sarong is green which symbolizes fertility. Before Saraman, the chest and back of the bride will be given scrubs and after which the makeup person will then invite the parents and elders to wash the bride alternately. Once completed, the water that is used to wash the bride will be given to young girls and boys who were present as a symbolic meaning that they should follow the examples of the bride and groom. This ceremony is called Bendring Sarat where the water used for the Saraman are sprinkled to the young girls and boys who attended the event. Titivate To ornate or in Serebanese language called parasan is done by the prospective bride after the Saraman ceremony. One of the parasan process called engaric where the removal of fine hair done by the makeup person as the parents and relatives watch. This event accompanied by moblong, a karawatan music which means the fountain of water is like a full moon. Topic. Visiting graves Visiting of tomb is normally done to offer prayers for ancestors who have already gone. Usually if the bride is a descendant of the Serebanese Sultanate, the bride will make a visit to the tomb of Sunan Gunning Jati tomb and the ancestral tomb of the Serebanese Sultans at the Astana Gunning Jati tomb of the Serebanese King's Complex in Astana Village, Gunning Jati District, Serban Regency to receive blessings before proceeding with the marriage ceremony. Visitation of the Astana Gunning Jati tomb of the Serebanese King's Complex begins by praying in front of the Pasujudan Gate. The door is the third of the nine doors leading to the tomb of Sunan Gunning Jati that seats at the top of the hill. Apart from praying in front of the Pasujudan door, usually Sultan Sepa of the Kasepuhan Palace and the bride will also spread flower petals and offer prayer in the tombs of the elders of Kasepuhan Palace, and among them are Sultan Sepa Raja Sulayman and Sultan Sepa Pra Maulana Pakuningrat. The visitation ends at the time for Salat Zur prayer. Topic. Fetching the bride When the wedding day arrives as agreed, representatives of the bride will send emissaries to fetch the groom. Once arrive at the home of the groom's family and the messenger delivers his message with the intention to bring the prospective groom to the bride's home for a wedding ceremony. Parents of the groom are not allowed participate in the marriage ceremony as it is forbidden for them to witness. Once the consent has been granted by the parents of the bride IJAB Kabul, the groom will be covered with a cloth belonging to the bride's mother. This signifies that the groom has become a son-in-law. After it has been done, the cloth will be taken back to indicate that the bride is no longer in the protection of her parents and now has to carry her own responsibility. IJAB Kabul in royal wedding or Pelakrama Aging of the Serebanese Palace is usually conveyed in loosed Serebanese language. Topic. Meeting the bride Once the solemnization ceremony is completed, they will proceed with the meeting of the bride and the bridegroom ceremony which is referred to as temen or salam temen. Both the bride and the bridegroom will be brought to the front porch or doorway of the house for a stepping on eggs event. The egg made up of shell, egg white and egg yolk bears its own symbolic meaning. Topic. Spreading of money This event is held as a form of parents expressing their happiness for the marriage of their children. Coins that are mixed with yellow rice and turmeric are spread, or in Serebanese language it is called sa'ar, as a sign so that the bride and groom are given an abundance of fortune, attain mutual respect, live in harmony and are well suited for each other. 
Normally when coins are sprinkled or spread, noises of excitement are heard of those that were rushing for the money, yellow rice and turmeric. Those noise of excitement is what is referred to as surik. Topic: <laughs> Sprinkling of pugipugan. In a squatting position, the head of the bride and bridegroom are sprinkled with pugipugan by the makeup person. The pugipugan is made of wellet, which is either ila long or fermented coconut leaves. The purpose of this ceremony is done for a long-lasting marriage just as the wellet are tied tightly until it is fermented, and for both of the bride and bridegroom to be able to make a full use of the sustenance that they are blessed with. Once the ceremony is completed by the makeup person, the bride and bridegroom are brought into the aisle. Parents of the bridegroom are then invited by relatives of the bride to accompany the bride and bridegroom in the aisle. Topic: Partaking of yellow sticky rice. Partaking of the nasi kitan kuning, yellow sticky rice, by the bride and bridegroom ceremony is led by the makeup person. The nasi kitan kuning is arranged in a circle of 13 grains of rice. First, the parents of the bride feeds the bride and bridegroom with a total of four grains. Then, another four grains are fed to the bride and bridegroom by the parents of the bridegroom. Followed by the bride and bridegroom feeding each other with total of two grains. The remaining one grain of rice is to be contested and it symbolizes whomever manages to get the last grain of rice will be blessed abundantly. However, the last grain of rice is not to be consumed but to be given to his or her spouse. During the event, both of the bride and bridegroom are seated in front as a symbol of a united husband and wife in building a happy family. Apart from that, this event, which is called Adep Adep Sekel, bears the meaning of harmony in the family among the couple, parents and parents-in-law. <laughs> Parental blessings Both of the bride and bridegroom pays homage to their parents by kneeling as a reflection of their respect and gratitude to their parents for all the love and guidance that has been devoted to them. The bride and groom also ask for blessings to build their own household with their spouse. After this ceremony, a love song with advice in a form of makapid is played with the hope the bride and bridegroom are able to manage their household in agreement, in life and in death with one another. Topic. Closing After receiving the blessings of their parents, the bride and bridegroom are then congratulated by relatives that are present. Usually, entertainment such as dancing are held. For example, Serban mask dance, Serebanese cultural dance and Tayub dance. Topic. Culture Topic. Relation to Sundanese culture In relations with Sundanese people or culture, the existence of the Serebanese people is marked in a form of the existence of the Serban Palace, where the founders of the Serban Palace namely Raiden Walangsungsang, Nyairara Santong and Prince Surya are the Kuwu Serebanese term of head of settlement in Kaliwadi district are the descendants of the Pajajaran kingdom of the kingdom of Sunda. However in the subsequent development of the Serban Palace, which is the symbol of existence of Serebanese people, chose its own path which is mostly patterned after Islam. <laughs> Relation to Javanese culture In relation to Javanese culture, the existence of Serebanese language has always been associated with the Javanese language due to the Serebanese grammar that is similar to the Javanese grammar, as well as the existence of several words in the Serebanese language also shares the same meaning in Javanese language. For example, I sun arep lunga sing yuma in Serebanese language means, I want to leave from home, where if translated in Javanese language it is. Iarep lungo sing yuma. Words obtained in both translations are almost similar, but the variety of sentences in Serebanese language is not limited to only from the absorption of Javanese language. An example of a variant dialect in Serebanese language: Ari kal mali bakda magrib ma puntan, isun beli bisa tika, ana janji sih karo adin. The word Ari 
that is found in the sentence is an uptake of the Sundanese language and the word Bagda is an absorption of the Arabic language. Where if translated into standard Sundanese language or standard Javanese language, a different variety of vocabulary will be found from the Sarebanese sentences. Art Sirban mask dance Gamelan Sakatan Kamanic Cuisine Docking Empel Gentong Mie Koklok Sega Jambling Tahu Gejaro Topic. See also 2011 Sirban bombing Sultanate of Sirban